With the recent plethora of Star Wars games coming onto the market, with games like Fallen Order bringing a breath of fresh air into the single player side, and Battlefront 2 pissing the entire world off until its revival this year, Star Wars games have been receiving a surge of popularity, even more with the hype being developed by the new LEGO Star Wars Skywalker saga. But instead of looking to the future, as always, we look to the past as we explore one of the first true Star Wars classics, Star Wars Battlefront. No, not that one. There you go. Developed by Pandemic in 2004. Battlefront lets you play as your favourite clones, rebels, stormtroopers and droids as you battle across the most famous planets in the galaxy. So without further ado, let's pop her open. I'll pop her in. This title screen has to be one of my favourite of any Star Wars game. The blueprint effect makes you feel like you are in charge of the... Say it with me now. Battle front. Now as you can see, Xbox Live is no longer active. The uh, original game was shut down in 2010. This is unfortunate as we can uh, no longer play multiplayer. Although System Link may still work. I don't know, probably does. Starting off with single player, we have three modes. The first of which being historical campaign. There's no real story here, just simply either Rebels vs Empire or Republic vs Confederacy. Due to this however, we get to hear the voice acting. Which is amazing. Especially for the clones, with Tamara Morrison, the actor who played Jango Fett and the clones in the prequel, delivering many iconic lines, but unfortunately, not this classic. Art, I don't want to alarm you. The command post is now under hostile control. Ah! The modes here are simple, usually supremacy or destroy objectives. The campaign here is definitely outshined by the campaign of the second game, but alas, we move on. We also have instant action here. Pick him up, pick a side, and bam! Bob's your uncle. But the standout mode is definitely Galactic Conquest. Pick a faction and attempt to conquer the galaxy. Each planet won gains an advantage, either extra enforcements or a hero to fight alongside you. The game is won when you invade every planet. Something tells me this would be very fun if played online, but guess what? <coughs> Each faction has a choice of 5 units. A trooper, anti-armor, sniper, pilot and one exclusive unit. The Jet Trooper for the Republic, Imperial Dark Trooper, the Confederate Droidka, and the Rebel Wookiee. Heroes also appear, but aren't playable. Vehicles also appear around some maps ranging from AATs to ATTEs, from gunships to Jedi Starfighters. These vehicles don't need any requirements to operate and can be repaired by the pilot class. Mounted turrets are also available to use and can be constructed again by pilots. Planets are taken from all six movies, along with the odd but welcome inclusion of Renvar. Many planets have two or more maps, and these planets themselves look very good for a game from 2004. The maps are very detailed, and each with their own native populations, ranging in hostility towards you. The game itself is also littered with cutscenes, all taken from the movies, but help to immerse you in the Star Wars experience. The presentation of the game as a whole is amazing, further reinforcing its status. Tutorial videos also exist, telling you how to play the game and also giving you an insight into more intricate details and mechanics of the game. Now we can't talk about Battlefront without talking about its follow-ups. The second OG Battlefront is regarded as one of the best Star Wars games, improving largely in the formula of the original. Renegade Squadron and Elite Squadron are mobile versions of the original Battlefronts, playable on DS and PSP. And of course we have the EA Battlefronts. These two have very little in common with the original games, but are still fun in their own ways. Although not the first Star Wars game, Battlefront definitely led the way for the popularity of modern Star Wars games, along with Knights of the Old Republic. This game is very nostalgic to many, and still is a prevalent modding community to this day. Although not as popular as its follow-up, this game still deserves its place amongst the best. Anyway guys, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. And until next time, a man is kebabloo.